guys, Morning. it is August 4th today and our second full day here in the park at Glacier. We have some big hikes going on today. We're doing the Highline Trail. It's like seven in the morning. Super so early. the sun is just coming up over the mountains and oh, I love Glacier. We're just here at Logan Pass because that's where you start for the trailhead here for the Highline Trail. That's where we're going to be hiking first. And just a little information, I don't know how far we're going to hike on the Highline Trail because typically it's almost a 12 mile hike, but typically because we're traveling in 2020, they don't have shuttles running. You usually do a one way hike from Logan Pass and then there's shuttles at the end of the trail that will bring you back to your car at Logan Pass. But because of the pandemic that's going on, they don't have shuttles. So we're just going to do some hiking. I don't know how far, we're just going to kind of roll with it because there's no shuttles. So we have to remember we have to turn around and hike back. <laughs> so stay tuned as we hike Highland Trail. Let's go. So one thing about Logan Pass is you want to get here early because parking fills up really, really quickly. <laughs> so yeah, we got here at 7, so eh, a little over half full already at 7 in this morning. But um, yeah, we got our spot, so we'll be here for the day. Here's the beautiful sunrise at Logan Pass. Wow. Chilly this morning. I got my coat on. You got your sweatshirt. When you're, it's nice. <laughs> when you're in the mountains, you gotta be ready because it's a little chilly. <laughs> All right, you guys, here's the Highland Trail. Let's do it. Here is the map of the Highland Trail. So, this is where it would end if you did the whole loop, which is about 12 miles. And that's where the shuttles would pick you up and then bring you back here to Logan Pass. But this is where we're starting our hike. I don't know, we're thinking about going to possibly here. So we'll see how this kind of all goes. But yeah, that's it. Bear spray? Got it. <laughs> all right. Cool today. Hope see bear, but from far away. <laughs> Bears are just crazy right now. Wow. They're just everywhere. Wildflowers galore. We got a goat. Animal sighting. There's goat. It's not a goat. There he is. He's in the video still. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. This trail is you literally walk on the edge of the mountains. Oh my god. You ready? Too bad. Ready, hon? Got this. <laughs> Let's do this, honey. Oh my god. No! There's a nice cable here. You can hold on to it. That's a long way down. Wow. I'm so scared of heights, but we got this. She'll be grabbing the rail the whole time. Way creepy. I don't even know. Yikes. <laughs> wow. Right on the edge of the mountain. This is the first. This is crazy. Yeah, you never scared of heights. <laughs> wow. This is insanity. As you can hear like the waterfalls, there's a waterfall right behind us. This is amazing. This is crazy, hon. What do you think? It's nice. It's like, it's how's, the, how, how's the edge treating you? Yeah? It's working. It's, it's alright. It's, it's a little, little crazy. It's a little freaky it sometimes. Is. It is freaky. So one recommendation you guys is to download your maps and then you can kind of track and see where you are on the trail. So offline we, maps. Google yeah, offline yeah, do maps. your Google offline maps, download them before you get here because when you get close to the park there's no service. So just the GPS works. Yeah, the GPS works. The map that works. But you gotta make sure you have your map downloaded so it loads properly. So yeah. Yep. This is just you guys, I don't even know how to explain it. It's incredible. We're just like getting ate by the mountains. It's just they're <laughs> huge. Say, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 
my mountain man? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Amazing. Yeah. I love Glacier. I didn't say that before. Just saying again. Glaciers. When you come here, be sure to come like late in the summer. The wildflowers are so pretty. And I know I mentioned this already, but they're just the crazy. Even one of the park rangers, she said this year the flowers have just went, they've bloomed like crazy. So I love it. It's so cool. I love flowers. A waterfall. This trail is really, really like flat and super easy to walk. So as long as you're not super scared of heights or vertical or whatever, it's pretty easy and totally, totally worth a hike out. At least a little of it if you can't do the whole thing, which we're not doing the whole thing because like I mentioned earlier, there's no shuttles. This is probably one of the most popular trails here in Glacier. So yeah, it's out of this world. Don't miss it if you're in Glacier. All right, I just wanted to show you this trail. So this is where you walk. Oh, oh, this is called Highline. And down there's the road. <laughs> wow, you guys. Freaky, freaky. I don't think you'd want to record and walk at the same time, would you? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> it's testing her limits. Yes. She's scared out of her mind. <laughs> Just don't look that way. Yeah. <laughs> that way. <laughs> There's a cliff there. So we turned around and we went about three miles on the Highland Trail and pro tip because we're noticing this now on our way back definitely go in the morning because the trail is shaded in the morning so it's nice and cool now that the Sun is rising it's peeking out which it's still nice but it's hot in the Sun so if you want to hike the Highland Trail it's way more comfortable when you're hiking in the shade so So about, I want to say about six miles round trip because like I said, the loop isn't all the way open. Wow, it's so pretty. This is amazing. So yesterday we did Avalanche Lake hike, today Highline. What do you think, Con? They're so different. This one was good. This one was, they're both, favorite. you have to do both. If you haven't watched the Avalanche Lake hike vlog, go do that because that's a good one. You got the lake, it's views, it's amazing. We gotta go. So we started the hike at quarter to eight, so 7.45, and we ended at 11. It was just over three hours. It took us to do those six miles. 
thank you guys so much for watching our hike here on the Highland Trail. Such an awesome experience. Definitely recommend if you're in Glacier. And be sure to go check out my other videos from our trip here in Glacier. We've done some really awesome hikes and sightseeing here. So definitely go check those out. And if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye.